lot of people were predicting that the internet would actually collapse. And they were predicting this because as the load on the machines, particularly in the core of the internet, was going up, their reliability was going down. The fundamental advance that Juniper made was to recognize that routers which had been built by programming microprocessors need to be split into two parts. And so we designed first our routers to actually split them into two parts called the control plane and the data plane. By doing that, we improved the raw performance of core routers by about 20x and the price performance by some 25x. I consider myself very fortunate to have thought of this idea when I did. We have added to the product portfolio that we used to build. We used to only build core routers. We now build routers that go to the core, at the edge, inside enterprises, inside data centers, and we secure the network. The world needs Juniper. The world needs the products that we do. We get distracted by fashionable things like social media apps or the latest app. All these things are important, they're interesting, but what we do is we build the machinery that makes all this stuff run. What we have built is something which is extremely powerful because it allows individuals and machines around the world to be connected to each other with a latency that is 0.1 seconds, 100 milliseconds. And increasingly, the bulk of human knowledge has been digitized and it's stored in machines connected to the network. So you have this phenomenal interaction between people and people, people and knowledge, people and machines, and machines and machines. So it's this any-to-any -any thing which is going on, which is making the pace at which we advance human understanding and human knowledge some phenomenal rate. And I think that we're only at the beginning of what's possible. And so I feel a great degree of excitement on what the next thing can be.